Hello, and welcome to Celebrating the Medical Assisting Profession. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about a fulfilling career as a medical assistant. My name is Jenny McCullough, and I'm the Vice President of Admissions at Ross. I'm excited to act as your webinar moderator as you learn more about this career from the graduate, employer, and instructor point of view. Let me begin by introducing you to your presenters. We have Ms. Candace Gwynn. Candace graduated from Ross's Medical Assisting Program in 2011 and is currently working at Mitchell Medical Center as a medical assistant. She'll be sharing her perspective on working in the healthcare industry and offer insight into the day in the life of a medical assistant. So welcome, Candace. Thank you for having me. Absolutely a pleasure. We also have Mr. Dan Krimenaker. He works with Port Huron Heart Center and is an employer that has worked with Ross in the past for hiring graduates. Mr. Krimenaker will be sharing some of the specific traits that he looks for in a medical assistant, as well as offering his thoughts on what makes the profession desirable and where graduates might expect to work. So thank you for joining us today, Mr. Krumenaker. Thank you, Jenny. And finally, our medical assistant instructor, Beth Strauss. Beth is a clinical instructor, a trainer, and a lead faculty member at Ross's Port Huron campus. And Beth has earned her certified medical assistant, her registered medical assistant, and allied health instructor designations. Beth will share with you some of her advice on what you should know if you're thinking about starting coursework to become a medical assistant. Welcome, welcome Beth. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so thank you all for joining us today um, to share your perspectives regarding this field uh, within the healthcare industry. So let's go ahead and, and get started. Candace, as a graduate of a medical assisting program, I'm sure your, exper your experience will be valuable for those considering a program or those who are currently working to complete their program. So, could you start by describing what a typical day is like for you in your role at Mitchell Medical Center? Well, as an MA, we are very versatile. My days are never the same. I work in the call center as a receptionist and also in the back. I schedule appointments, put casts on, do EKGs, check patients in and out, and when I'm in the call center, I triage the patients that call in. Every day, I deal with patients first and foremost. I work hand-in-hand -hand with the doctors, either getting vitals on patients and assisting in surgeries or calling patients for the doctors. I work at a family practice, and on average, we see approximately 125 patients a day. We are a very busy office, and I love it. No two days are the same, which keeps me on my toes. Wow, thanks for telling us about your typical day, Candace. Sure does sound like you stay real busy. Holy yes, I do. So what would you say are some of the important skills and characteristics that uh, you need to be successful on a day-to-day -day basis in your job? The most important skill you need as an MA is people skills. This is something that is not taught. You need to know how to talk to and communicate with all types of people. You need to have a positive outlook and always have a smile on your face. Always remember, leave home at home, and when you leave work, make sure you leave work life at work. That's good advice. Thank you for your insight and on what it takes to be successful in your role, Candace. So what is it, Candace, that you like best about your job? What I love most about my job is knowing that I am helping people. I love seeing them leave knowing that I hopefully help them in one way or another. Great. Well, thank you for offering your perspective regarding the medical assisting field, Candace. It's great to hear that things are going well for you in your field. Now that we have a pretty good idea of what a day in the life is like for a medical assistant, let's get the perspective of an employer to give you a good idea of what to expect when working as a medical assistant. Thanks again uh, for joining us today, Dan, and taking the time out of your busy schedule. Getting an employer's perspective is so helpful as students and prospective students consider medical assisting as a career. So, um, Dan, when you're hiring, what is it that you look for in a medical assistant? Jenny, when I'm hiring and interviewing for the medical assistant position, um, I like to make sure that this person has been trained in the basics, which I find that uh, Ross does quite well. But they also need to be able to display empathy toward the patients that they're about to serve. I expect them to take that responsibility as a medical assistant very serious. Because uh, being an MA is not necessarily a 9-to-5 job. 
and the ability to follow through is vitally important to the doctor and to the patient. Wow, Dan, there's a lot to consider when hiring a medical assistant. So you mentioned some crucial skills in addition to appropriate training. Um, what additional personal skills or qualities do you look for when you're hiring? I agree with Candace that the, they need to have the people skills. And as I said earlier, they must be able to empathize with the patients that come into the clinic. Also, when you're interviewing the student, you want to see that they can maintain their composure, particularly during the stressful days that they might have in a busy clinic, and that they can also follow instructions. Also important is the ability to work well with others as a group, since in our practice we have a number of medical assistants uh, who work together. Wow. Well, that makes a lot of sense, especially considering the amount of patient contact that MAs have. So what are some of the daily tasks or responsibilities that you assign to your, your medical assistants? The medical assistants at my clinic have numerous tasks and responsibilities. They may be assigned to an individual doctor for the day. They could be assigned just to the telephone for calling patients regarding lab tests, medication changes, or other correspondence for the doctor. They become quite proficient, though, in uh, vital signs and injections, as well as uh, lab testing and heart testing, like EKGs and Holter monitors. Wow, that's great information to have. And I'm curious, what do you believe makes medical assistant a good a profession to consider? I've talked to the uh, Ross students a number of times, and medical assisting is a good profession to consider for the following reasons. The medical assistant is an integral part of that treatment team in the clinic. The MA not only assists the doctor, but the patient. The MA keeps the doctor efficient. Many times it's the medical assistant's ability to help organize the doctor that keeps the office running smoothly. The MA has the ability to serve in a direct capacity as a patient advocate. And this is not only desirable, but essential. Great. So thank you very much for offering your perspective, Dan. It's real helpful to hear you know, what an employer thinks. It's also helpful to hear it from an instructor's point of view. So Beth, what do you believe makes the medical assisting career so attractive? Well, I do agree with both Candace and Dan. Um, I think there are a few reasons, though, that people choose the medical field. Um, maybe someone that they love is sick and they want to be able to help or understand better what's going on with that person. Maybe they have a need to share themselves with others by helping. That's good. Uh, we have older students whose kids have grown and now they're looking for a career um, outside the home. And a lot of times when people are asked, they'll respond that they like working with people or that they always thought they'd like to work in the medical field. And then you have others who say they want to go to work in their pajamas and tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, you know, in addition to your thoughts regarding what makes this a desirable profession to consider, here's some more. According to the 2010-2011 Bureau of Labor Statistics Occupational Outlook Handbook, Employment is projected to grow much faster than average, ranking medical assistants among the fastest growing occupations over the 2008 to 2018 decade. And job prospects should be excellent, excellent according to the BLS. Healthcare is experiencing rapid growth and due in large part to the aging of the baby boom generation, which we will require which will require more medical care. In addition, some healthcare occupations will be in greater demand for other reasons. As healthcare costs continue to rise, work is increasingly being delegated to entry-level workers as a cost-saving measure. For example, tasks that were previously performed by doctors, nurse, nurses, dentists, or other healthcare professionals increasingly are being performed by physician assistants, medical assistants, dental hygienists, and physical therapy aides. OK. So we've heard the day in the life of a medical assistant and got the insider information on what employers are looking for. Now, for the instructor's point of view, Beth, what do you think is important for students to know who are looking to get started in the medical assisting program? Well, um, Jenny, students do need to know that starting school is going to be a big life change for them. 
um, whether they're young and haven't been out of high school that long or whether they're older and getting started again on a new career. They need to make sure that they're going to be organized and that their support system understands that they're going to need their help with kids and schedules and things like that. Wow, you're right, Beth. You know, adding school to your life does create change, and an exciting change at that. And we do everything we can to help our students navigate through those changes. I'm sure it would be helpful to have an idea of what classes might be like for those considering starting a program. So what can an MA student expect in their class? Well, this is a good question, Jenny. A lot of people are wondering. In class, students are going to learn both the front office skills and back office skills necessary to step into their externship with ease. They'll learn medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, and these classes will be the stepping stones for their careers as we all speak midterm ease. On the clinic side, they're going to learn the hands-on procedures that make them valuable in assisting the physicians, as Dan was saying. They'll also get real-life stories that help make their classroom experience real for them. Great. Well, as mentioned before, going to school changes your life, and we do everything we can to help you manage that change. So Beth, can you tell us a little about the support resources available to help students achieve success in their program? All of our instructors have uh, office hours weekly, in or and that's a time set aside in order to assist the students with whatever they may need. They're free to visit any instructor during the office hours, and they have the ability to get one-on-one -on -one help from their instructor or any of the others. Uh, also, classmates become an essential part of the student experience. Many times they'll form study groups to help each other. They exchange phone numbers for rides, homework, what did I miss if I wasn't there, and that's just the classroom support. Staff in each department is available to the student during their program, as well as after graduation. I also encourage my students by giving them lots of praise and letting them know that they can do this. They're going to have ups and downs, but my being a Ross graduate, I think, lets them know that they, too, can achieve success just by showing up every day. Wow, great. So what would you say to a student who was unsure if medical assisting was the right program for them? Well, we've all worked jobs where we weren't sure people even noticed if we were there. If they want to have not just a job but a career where they go home every night feeling like they've added value to someone's life, then this is definitely the career for them. The feeling of satisfaction in knowing that you help somebody today makes tomorrow an exciting prospect. Great. Well, thank you for joining us to celebrate the medical assisting profession. For additional information regarding our programs at Ross, Upon completion of the information ses session, please indicate your preference for learning more about us and how we can assist you in achieving your goals.